Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back. We are here for our second race of the season in the 602. We got it right here. So if you noticed last time, we hit the wall right back here. You can see the scratches on the fender. Most of the damage was just where this crushes in, which is perfectly okay. Meant to do that and then we just bumped, uh, punched it out pretty much and got it done. The right front, is good now we fixed it up so the car is good to go back how it was before the last race and pb is about to get in the car for hot laps so 602s first for everything again so we'll go ahead and get into hot laps So, we kind of combined hot laps and heat, or we combined hot laps and qualifying, so the hot laps went fine, and qualifying looked really good, car's looking great, but whenever he went through tech, they said he was underweight, well I'll ask him and see how much, but we're gonna see what we can do to add some more to it, and yeah, we'll just have to see. Um, and all it get it all together. Now? I don't know what his time was. So how much were you underweight by? Like 11 pounds. It's not that much. No. How much does that fuel weigh? Probably 20, 25. Yeah. Okay, so that should make us good. We'll see. Car's doing good except for that. Just a small little hiccup we had. But we'll be in the race starting at the back due to him being underweight, failing tech after. So he'll just have to make it all the way up. So we're really gonna see how either the field is or PB and just see how the car reacts and, and he's able to make his way through the field. Looking forward to it now. Adds a little bit of a different challenge, but we'll go ahead and get into race.
guys. So, we finished the race, started in la no, we started I think in 13th, which is where we technically qualified. We we're supposed to apparently be in last for being underweight, but for some reason they still put us in 13th. Not sure why, but we'll take it. So what happened in the race at the end, PB did say he was overheating, and we'll have to take a look into that. Maybe timing, because it's big backfire. Kind of like whenever we started working on the car, but we've checked time in before, and it's been okay, so we'll just have to see. But what what's good is we finished the race in 2024. We're all super pumped, because I would say he drove a great race, passing people. So dirt track cars, obviously, you should know, like we don't have mirrors or anything. And his situational awareness was actually really good. I think we finished ninth, I could be wrong. I'll try to put the actual position in the, in the video. But yeah, clean night, got real close to the wall one time, rode it real good. But yeah, car overheated just a little bit there, a little bit more than a little bit, but Overall real good. We'll get to talk with PB. He's talking right now, but we'll get to talk with him and see his thoughts. But overall, good night. What are your thoughts? Because in my opinion, it looked like a great race. It was a great race from my point of view. Uh, it was just, it was bumpy and I was scared the motor was going to kind of let go just because of the temp we were reaching or I was about to pull off. Um, still got backfiring issues. I don't know if that's just if that was just timing issues. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't know if y'all could see in the video. Whenever he was away from the track, I did mention it like in a voice note for for us that he was backfiring a lot, especially letting off the gas. Yes. So I think it's- I, It was terrible letting off the gas. And you, you, I meant to bring it up after qualifying because you did it in qualifying. Yeah, it, no, it did it once or twice, but not near as bad as- No, there, there was one time, I think you're like catching up with the pack after in turn three. And you let off and it just brrrr, like yeah. like machine gun. Yeah. One thing I can I can tell the tires are getting their I think that's now their fifth race on them. It's with us or no total life because we're all new. That, yeah, I think they had two races on them before, and then that's now their third race plus two practices. So I mean, you can I can tell they're starting to get their age. We're gonna have to figure out something, get some more used tires or something. But uh, it's. It handled well over the bumps. Like, I, I mean, it was bumpy, but I felt like everybody else up in front of me, when like they were bouncing and very rigid, I felt like this car gave a lot. Like, the shocks just... I don't know, you look pretty rigid. Think so? Yeah. I didn't feel and rigid. I think that's, like, so over there, we, we could tell we were rubbing on the tire a little. I don't know what exactly is up with that it could be camber we need yeah. more camber in it to get it away from it um all right anyway today's ready to go yep so great race good job pb he's our eighth very place. first finish of the year so and in eighth place so we made up technically finished in the i guess you could say i mean it's not truly the top half but kind of the top half so we're pumped we're gonna take this thing home, get the issues fixed that we've seen, but we're gonna end it there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in for the next one and rebuild this and the neat. We still gotta get to the neon. We haven't touched it yet. I feel bad for the thing, for wrecking it and then ditching it, but we'll get her fixed up. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Let off and it just brrrr, like, like machine gun. Yeah.